Hugh Hefner passes away at 91 years old. Yesterday, the Playboy magazine founder passed away peacefully in his Los Angeles home from natural causes. Hugh Hefner has been a household name since publishing the first edition of Playboy back in 1953. He started this business from his home with $600 of his own money. The first edition featured a set of nude photos of Marilyn Monroe, originally shot for a 1949 calendar that Hugh purchased for $200. Over time, Playboy has become the largest selling men's magazine in the world, and at its peak, sold 7 million copies in a month. With many celebrities being featured in the magazine over the years, such as Drew Barrymore, Madonna, Carmen Electra, and Kim Kardashian. Hugh Hefner was a great entrepreneur who turned an at home business into a multi million dollar business empire. Hugh was known for his silk pajamas, promiscuous ways, dating many Playboy models at the same time, and throwing extravagant parties at the luxurious Playboy Mansion in LA. About leaving a legacy, Hugh has said, I would like to be remembered as someone who has changed the world in some positive way, in a social, sexual sense, and I'd be very happy with that. I'm a kid who dreamed the dreams and made them come true. Many celebrities took to Twitter to send their condolences. Jenny McCartney tweeted, RIP Hef, thank you for being a revolutionary and changing so many people's lives, especially mine. I hope I made you proud. And Kim Kardashian tweeted, RIP to the legendary Hugh Hefner. I'm so honored to have been a part of the Playboy team. You will be greatly missed, love you Hef. Clearly this man was really loved, changed a lot of lives, and lived a full life himself. Our thoughts go to his family during this difficult time. Hello everyone and thank you for joining me on this beautiful Thursday. I'm Courtney McGinley. I hope all of you are having a great day so far. Now, I just quickly wanted to address something before we get started. Last week a lot of you mentioned in the comments that I look sad or you were asking if I was sick. The reason I wasn't so enthusiastic in last week's videos was because just a few days before I had my wisdom teeth removed. All four of them. So I was in a bit of pain and also I wasn't supposed to talk for the first few days, so the first day back at work was somewhat rough. I thought I could get away with it without anyone noticing, but you guys are awesome. And know that I'm usually a lot more expressive. So I just want to explain what was going on and thank you all for the care and concern. I appreciate it so much. You guys are the best. So I just felt like you guys deserved an explanation on that. Alright, now without further ado, let's get started with today's stories. Next, a deadly volcano erupts in Indonesia. Thousands of townspeople who lived around Mount Sinabung were evacuated on Wednesday afternoon as this volcano erupted. Over 75,000 residents were evacuated and urged to keep a distance of 7 kilometers from their homes. This volcano was the most active of the country's 130 volcanoes. And there is now a fear that an even bigger eruption could happen within days as Mount Agong on Bali is expected to blow. Both of these volcanoes are located in the Ring of Fire, which is a volatile area of seismic activity filed with hundreds of active volcanoes where 90% of the world earthquakes happen. Earlier this year, 10 people were killed in another eruption, leaving the death toll at 20 people in the past decade. Luckily, there have been no reported casualties from this latest eruption. However, there are fears that when Mount Agung erupts, which could be at any moment, it may repeat the events of the last eruption in 1963, which killed over 1,000 people. We'll keep you guys up to date with this story. Next, North Korea troop movements show a country is preparing for war. It's been reported that North Korea moved an aircraft to the east coast of the country to strengthen its defense after claiming the US has declared war. Also, it's been reported that any American bombers found flying around near the Korean peninsula will be shot down. According to North Korean's foreign minister, this is all because Donald Trump apparently declared war on the country during a UN speech. North Korea's representation have said they reserve the right to take countermeasures in the escalating friction between the two nations, which includes shooting down US strategic bombers. Tensions have been escalating since Trump referred to Kim Jong-un as Little Rocket Man, and since September 3rd, which is when North Korea conducted its sixth and most powerful nuclear bomb test. Also in just the past month, they have fired two ballistic missiles over Japan. And things aren't getting better. Just in the past week, Trump and Kim Jong-un have exchanged threats and insults with one another. A news agency in North Korea reported the whole world should clearly remember it was the US who first declared war on our country. The question of who won't be around much longer will be answered then. Yeah, that's um a little hostile. When is this going to end? Next, the human Ken doll has been detained in Dubai. You've all heard of Rodrigo Alves, aka the human Ken doll by now, I am sure. He spent 400,000 pounds and has had numerous surgeries to look like the perfect man, in his mind anyway. However, due to all the plastic surgery, his face has been drastically altered and due to this, officials in Dubai had to detain him. That's right, this 34 year old has had so much surgery that his face is so unnaturally altered that he doesn't even resemble his past photo. Now I'm all for if you don't like something about yourself, fix it. You do you. But I mean, maybe he took it a little too far if he doesn't even resemble his old self. Now he's being detained by border control, which is delaying his return to the UK. Prior to being detained, Rodrigo revealed that he was considering one more major surgery, and that's gender reassignment to become a woman. About this he said, I'm very happy to be a man for now, but I don't want to be an old saggy man. 
I will do what Caitlyn Jenner did. When I reach my late 50s, I would rather be a sexy old lady than a saggy old man. Next, Toys R Us filed for a Chapter 11 bankruptcy earlier this week in the US and plans soon to make similar filings in Canada where it has 70 stores. Now I don't know about you guys, but I am shocked to find out that this company is having to file for bankruptcy. When I was a kid, this is where everyone would go to get their toys. I guess that over the years some competition has come around. The company is still selling a good amount of toys, but has had a debt problem. It's been reported that the company is struggling with $5 billion in long term debt, which it spends $400 million a year to service. Toys R Us's plan is to reconstruct its debt, get a new growth plan, and reorganize its stores. And there you have it, that's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.